going on world this is grandmaster facts and this is another party news exclusive so i'm going to give you a very unpopular opinion and it's going to get rubbed the wrong way was tony stark a dick what how dare you as if i mean was he a jerk <laughs> What have you done? How could you? What did you do? Ah! You know, and I mean this in the ways and the means that first Iron Man movie, Obadiah Stane felt that felt as though his inventions were probably better than Tony Stark's and because he wanted to get him out of the way because Tony was ultimately better than him that brought forth a little bit of drive in Tony to where that arrogant and cockiness was put to good use and he created his first Iron Man suit then we move forward where Ivan Vanko who has a dire dis distrust and ultimate violent temperament towards the Stark family. He basically, his father was killed in the ways because he was, he was, his father was fired by Howard Stark. And when he got brought back to his home country, he laid and rotted in jail until he died. Ivan Vanko then took that out on Tony Stark. Your father did this to my father, I'm gonna do this to you. And then, you know, so on and so forth. Iron Man 3, Aldrich Killian. In the beginning, the man just wanted a fucking job. You know, and of course, this is in the height of Tony's cockiness. Billionaire, philanthropic, badass. I mean, just please take note that the man is is awesome at, at his role. You know, Aldrich just wanted a job. That's all he wanted, man. He was just... And look at what happened to him. He turns into a villain. These people are so skilled, smart, in the qualities that they have that ultimately in the beginning they wanted to help tony obadiah maybe not so much but ivan vanko's father ultimately wanted to work with howard stark aldrich killian wanted to work with tony stark then you get baron zemo helmet zemo helmet zemo in the cinematic universe is a survivor from sokovia the avengers have of course blocked the reign of Ultron and exactly what was happening out there and a gigantic fucking rock that Iron Man was holding ended up getting slammed down onto the entire city probably killing his parents. Also in the meantime started the fact between Petro and Wanda Maximoff, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver the first person they blame when they're introduced Tony Stark. The person that they want to get to the most Tony Stark. It seems like everybody just got a bit of his bullshit and then even in his untimely death in avengers endgame his disgruntled workers his workforce who probably worked for him god knows for how long led by quentin beck you even get to see some of the old workers who worked with with obadiah stain and that whole forfeiture of stark industries and because they knew who his protege was and because they wanted to buckle his system and Stark Industries was just not going away, but the man, Tony Stark, was not there. It just didn't have to happen. And even in that limelight, Tony was the antagonist. So there was videos in the past that were saying that, like, Tony is the new, Tony Stark is going to be the new big bad in the MCU. They said that as like a theory and a joke. Ultimately, was that true? Did he just cause all this shit? Because it seemed like everybody was coming after him. And the thing is, because he defeated so many people, I think that's why he was re uh, was reveled so much. He was placed on a high pedestal because everybody that came at him got knocked down. But let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe to us at the Party Nerds YouTube page. Feel free to follow me. Grandmaster Facts, F-A-Q-S, at Instagram. And let me know if you agree with me, agree with me on this one. Party Nerds, go. Party Nerds. Party Nerds. Party Nerds. Party Nerds. Party Nerds. Party Nerds. Party Party Nerds. Party 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 Party